What's up guys, MGH here, welcome to a new episode of my Bournemouth Road to Glory and in today's episode we've got some massive games, we've got Chelsea, Juventus and Man City so some massive games right now but Man City really aren't doing so well this season so far if I go ahead and show you the tables you're going to be very surprised to see that they're actually in 13th and they've only won one game in 8, they've drawn 6 so I really am actually favourites going into this game even though it's at the Etihad but don't forget, this is season five. Things have changed. Man City are no longer a, a big threat, I guess, to the top four. So we're going to get into this game now. And hopefully, Welbeck will continue his good form and we'll get a win. So here is the Man City team. You look at it and you have to say, why are they struggling? They've got some fantastic plays in there. They've still got Yaya Torre. They've got Dzeko. They've got Silva. They've got Fernandinho. They've got Mangala, who, let's be honest, is very good in this game. And Joe Hart in goal and a few other great players in there. They really shouldn't be struggling as much as they are. City have the first attack of the game here. They've got a corner. Oh, wow, that was close. Butland, where were you? Where was the, the, the catch? Where was it? It was just non-existent. Here's Silva to Yaya Torre. Don't let them score early on here. Get it out. Yes, well defended. Oh, what a ball that is from Hoiberg. He is something special. Here's Legion inside. And again, that's going to be a free kick. We'll take the free kick instead. I thought maybe I'd be able to cut in there inside Mangala, but I ran out of space. Here is Silva. We're going to go ahead and chip this one into the box. Can we get a header on it? Welbeck. Never mind, it's Gradel, and it's so close. Just goes wide of the post. Here come Man City, though. It's David Silva down the left wing. It's a good pass into Sinclair. No way. What the, what the hell did Butland just do? Did he just punch it out like that? Oh, my God. It was like some sort of karate punch. I don't know what he was thinking. Why not catch it? Here's Legion over the top. He's onside. Welbeck is onside. Hits it. Holy shit, Mangala, that is one of the best tackles I've seen. How has he stopped that? And that is half time. Okay, we really should have put one of our chances away, but that's okay. We've still got another 45 minutes to go. Here goes Legion, though. He's going to run through. He's got too much dribbling skills, and he's finished it. <laughs> Straight away in the second half, he is so good at sprinting in different directions. He just turns so quick. The defence, they can't do anything about it, and Joe Hart... The ball's gone past him by the time he tries to make a save. And that is four goals for my name is Yev. What? What? There's a red card. Yaya Torre has just been sent off and I, I didn't even see what happened. What? How? Ooh, that's how. Probably not a red card though. That seems a little bit, a little bit harsh. I've got a massive advantage now, though, against 10 men. We're already winning the game. We should be good to go and get another goal here, hopefully. Here's Welbeck. That's a good first touch. It's a good shot, but Hart makes a good save. One last chance here for Man City, I think. It's a good cross. Good save from Butland. Get it out. That's going to be it, surely. Referee, blow that whistle. Yes, gets in there. That was a real struggle. As soon as they went down to 10 men, they genuinely played better. But it doesn't matter. We've got the, uh, the three points there. Thanks to that man, Legion. What a performance from him. Into round four of the Capital One Cup. We're at home against Cardiff with my second team. I'm hoping a big win here. 3-1 Aaron scoring two goals and King scoring as well. So very happy with that result. And we're going through. So in our next game, we've got Juventus. So I want to use my second team in this game against West Ham at home. And it's a win. It's Wilson this time. I've decided to play him in this match. And that is the last simulator game we're going to do in this episode. I know it's not as exciting, but these games, I just don't really have the motivation to play right now. I want to focus on the Champions League. And West Ham are 18th in the league. It just seems so silly to play that game when I can comfortably win it. I was hoping for a better result than that, but that's okay. 1-0, 3 points. Let's get into the game against Juventus. So here we go, guys. The home leg against Juventus. A little bit nervous right now. I think we may have been a little bit lucky in the last three games. We got two wins from three, which is obviously very good for a team like Bournemouth. So I think this is going to be a real test against Juventus today at home. Obviously, they beat us in their home leg. Actually, might be able to get a shot away from uh, Welbeck here. Ooh, I tell you what, that was not far off. Ooh, that's a good cross. No way, no way. Eight minutes in. Eight minutes in and Tevez and Griezmann combine. These two, they are such a handful, it's crazy. Look how easy this is for Tevez. One touch, cross it in. That is a really good header as well. Unsavable, unstoppable I should say. And we're 1-0 down already. Great. 
Oh, for God's sake, Tevez is through now. Zambrano will not be able to keep up with him. He's quick. He's so quick. Oh, no, that would have been a pen. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely wrecked. Holy shit. I mean, I'm lucky I didn't give away a penalty there, but to be honest, I think I would have taken it because they may have missed it, and instead, he's put it away. Oh, Butland, you've got to be doing better than that, man. For God's sake, 14 minutes in, 2-0 down. I need to get back in this quick. Yes, Legion, you're the one who's going to do it for me. Look at him go. Oh, my God, I was so close to getting through there. Here goes Legion. He's going to get me back into this game. Come on, son. Come on. Come on. Left foot. Why? Why is De Gea always in the right position? He's too freaking good. Last chance here of the first half. It's going out for a corner. If they score here and make it three, that is it. There's just no coming back from that. So let's hope we can get this one away. It's passed. That's terrible. What a stupid idea. Just clear it out. Holy shit, I might get a chance. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Okay, that's the end of the first half. It's been pretty diabolical, but you never know. Nothing is impossible. Oh, yes, Aaron's. Yes, buddy. If we can score here, we might be in with a shot here of getting a slight comeback and getting a draw. Here goes Legion. Come on, son. Inside. Lovely bit of skill. Here we go. Come on, I'm going to get a shot away. No, I'm not. For God's sake, I'm too greedy with him. I need to pass it more. There's still time. Come on, Aaron's. It's a well back, maybe. It's a good ball. De Gea with another save. I give up, man. That's it. I think if I scored there, I may have got a chance to get a draw, but that is going to be it, guys. I think this has been a bit of a reality check, guys. You know, we, we won two games before this in the Champions League. Maybe we got a bit lucky. This has been a really, really tough game. And there we go. That is the end. We've lost 2-0 to Juventus. They were on a different level to us. So, so good. And to make things harder, guys, we're now at Stamford Bridge to play top of the league, Chelsea. Thank you so much, EA, for the fantastic fixture list that I've had recently. Lots of tough, tough games in a row. And uh, we're going to have to try our very best to get three points here because after that Juventus game, a lot of my players are tired and I have not got my strongest team available. So it's really going to be difficult. And I need to get a win here to, to keep up with them. They're already very far ahead of me. Oh, shit. Here's Willian. Do not let them score in the first few minutes. No, that's going in. No, it's not. I'm heading it out. Oh, my God. It was off the line, and now I'm on the counter-attack. Come on, Amati. Come on, son. Keep running. Welbeck, why are you not running ahead of me? It doesn't help when you stay behind me. It's all right. Gradel, we might get lucky here. Inside with the fake shot. And again. No, Zuma has absolutely destroyed me there. Here's Matic into Diego Costa. I can't keep up with this passing. No, Van Ginkel, no, get it out. Yes, just before half time, they could have scored there. Across for Gradel. That's a really good pass. If he can get there, he's not going to get there. For God's sake, if that was a better pass, we might have got the cross in. But unfortunately, that's the end of the first half, guys. And it's 0-0 against Chelsea, which isn't too bad. Come on, Legion. Over the top for Welbeck. That is a really good pass. I'm through here. Please, Welbeck, finish this. Yes, get in there, Welbeck. How am I winning this game? I have no idea, but Welbeck, he's been very off. But that, I don't care if you're playing off, if you're still going to finish every now and again. That is a really good goal, and it could be vital, guys. I'm going to be defending for my life now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, shit, no. Oh, you know what? <laughs> How long was that? I think that's about 20 seconds in real time in between the goals. And it's an absolutely fantastic strike from William. So much space for the cross there. And it goes through everyone. Literally everyone in the box. Guys, I'm feeling the pressure now. I know I can score against them, but I know I can concede as well. So easily. Good tackle there. Let's get this one out, please, lads. No. Oh, Zuma. Whew, Butland. No way. It's over to Aaron's. He's got to finish this. No way have I just missed that. That was the opportunity to get three points against the league leaders, and I fluffed it. And it's it's come off Zuma, I think. What a challenge. Holy shit, he is good. Right, we've got a corner here. 88th minute. Acerich to put one in there. Gone okay. Oh, my God. No. No, I was about to smash it in with Wilson. And that's it. Right, I am tired now. Ooh, wow, that was so tense. But a, a draw against Chelsea is not a bad result. 
a loss against Juventus, okay, and a win against Man City. So it's been a bit of an inconsistent episode, but three massive games there out of the way. But after that game, Spurs have taken the lead, but Chelsea do have a game in hand, and should they win, they'll obviously go top by two points once again. But it means that we've moved up to fourth, or we've stayed in fourth. I think we moved up to fourth in the last episode. But that's after 11 games, six wins, three draws, two losses, and our goal difference is now six. So it's looking lot, a lot better. In the next episode, we've got Manchester United as our first game. So fourth versus third, that could be interesting. We've then got, obviously, another Champions League fixture, I believe, it's the one against Monaco at home, so that is going to be absolutely vital. We need three points there to go through, I think. And uh, until then, thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like rating and a comment, and I will see you in the next episode soon.